this is it's like drawing from the unconscious, reaching down. I've I've, to, I've talked about how people, uh, what I call the the uh, fallacy of uh, uh, divine inspiration, the divine inspiration fallacy. People think that it's all up there, and if you take something down, that's inspiration I can have. That's bullshit. It all comes from within you. You. Uh, I, I, I've done interviews recently about consciousness. I don't believe in this bullshit that that I'm a, a I'm one of the fingers of of consciousness that inhabits the universe. I am unique. I was born on February 2nd, 1965, conceived nine months there thereof before then. It's one random sperm meeting my birth mother's egg. And when I die, whether it's in 2030 or 2050 or after that, that'll be it. There'll be nothing like me ever that came before. Now you can say that about anyone, but when you're talking about people who have done great things, whether it's in the arts, whether it's a Genghis Khan, whether it's a, a, a Joseph Stalin in a negative sense, these are the things that need to be studied. This is why great artists need to be studied, great leaders need to be studied, great scientists need to be studied, because only by studying them, and hopefully artificial intelligence helps discern the things that, that make artists great a bit more, uh, because you need you need someone with a great mind like mine that didn't have the will to create, but had the will to just study and, and take that apart. If if you have that in something like artificial intelligence, you will you will hopefully unleash some of these people who have that what I said have that little ability that turns of phrases that I had in that very first poem. But why did they become an accountant when? You know, why have they spent the last 25 years as an accountant with three kids and a mortgage while I became a great artist? No matter what personal issues I might have in my personal life about jobs I may have lost or about personal issues with uh, uh, problems uh, physically or whatnot, I became great at something. Another person didn't. And while in a sense uh, there's not a huge difference uh, at the beginning, there's a gaping chasm at the end. And that's the same difference between when we're talking about great poem versus a mediocre poem. The difference between a poem or any work of art that I'd rate a 75 or an 80, you say, oh, that's only 5% difference. No, it's not. Because the difference between that uh, is far min more minuscule than the difference between, say, something that I would rank a 95 and a 96. The difference, in fact, between something that's barely passable at a 65 and something that's just gets over the hump to near greatness at a 90 isn't a 25% difference. That difference is not as great as the difference between a 94 and a 95 to get over the hump of greatness. And and so the greatness is something that doesn't go go on, on just an arithmetic level. It's geometric. It, it you know It's two times two times two times two times two. Well, sometimes it might even go three times three. It, it, it's geometrically great by powers. 